damn it, it's all so wet. They did a good job of skate stopping it. <laughs> When I was a kid, I was stoked to just do something, anything. I was hyped to even just step foot in the park, so. It was packed, so I was like, to go inside and get into the lineup and be like, all right, let's get it. They're just intimidating when I was younger, so I was like, one of the older homies came and was like, come on, let's go inside, and he came and grabbed me. Then he taught me how to drop in. It was that quarter pipe over there, first drop in ever. These curbs. I'd literally just cruise up and just go like. Then I'd be stoked. Someone cut the kink and uh, made it like a super dope rail. It's like a low rail. <laughs> they, they tried to skate stop the rail by putting the pole here and then, you know, Louis so all it over the pole. John Coltard took a sick selfie photo that, that people have been posting everywhere. This used to be like the old high school in Hermosa. So this is where they filmed Carrie. This is where the whole gym scene was shot. So like them pouring the blood down from the ceiling and all that prom, etc. But this is their high school too. So they would like walk up and down these steps that Mason skated. <laughs> they have a wide shot of the whole gym on fire, pretty much, and she's just chilling right here. Uh, Disorganized Fun and Goose Nectar played here, so we premiered it when we were like 16 or something. <laughs> it was pretty funny. I mean, this is like the only theater around. We maxed out capacity both times, 500 people. Five or ten dollars per ticket. Yeah, sold DVDs at the stands. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah, we come here. I come here every day, at least. <laughs> like almost. <laughs> Well, we're known for our breakfast burritos. We've been here almost 30 years. Yeah, that's one of our staple burritos. And actually, I want to say six, seven years ago, we got uh, number one breakfast burrito in LA. Yeah, we're known for our breakfast, but everything else is good here too. Asada, chicken, pastor. And we do serve lengua and cabeza too. It's the sauce. That's the secret, it's the sauce. 83, 85, ready? Two breakfast burritos. Ah. This is the bank hole. I mean, Mason cracked it off first. Were you the first one to skate it? Like, get up top? I think so, yeah. He feebled yeah. it. Get that height real quick. Yeah, look at this. It's as tall as bro. <laughs> Get the <that> height. <laughs> yeah, I mean, these things are always like blocking it. So sometimes you could just move them. You know, you got all these businesses that don't like it. So I did the backsmith. Yeah, it was probably like eight, eight in the morning. You always got all these cars blocking you. Then you have to ask someone who's trying to get their morning coffee if they cannot park there, then they get pissed. Whole, whole ordeal. I did the front side flip before and the front side flip was kind of like last resort. I was trying front blunt transfer for like ages. I came back probably like five, six times. Let me just fling out a front side flip just to do something and then it worked. This was like the first clip that Ryan filmed of me was on this stair set. Nice. 
I was like the first time I was like using the VX. <laughs> it looked really weird. <laughs> Tail drop from the top. actually have one of his old element days. I think it's really important for like an entire generation of younger skaters to see that that is something that can happen you know what I mean and especially like the you know Ryan Louie and Mason the three guys doing it I think are probably the best role models to be doing it they're there's they're just such good people it, it couldn't be a better situation like the community is like so proud of it and they've always just been really humble people who are just down to be you know celebrate skating and surfing one another South Bay has a really big hometown feel. Pretty good feeling to have everyone still around skating with us. Our crew hasn't changed one bit since we are 16. There's endless stuff to skate. People don't usually come out here to, to film. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like we're all the same way. Like we end up skating spots around kind of where we live. And then when there's nothing, when you can't think of anything, you probably you just end up at those spots. Kind of like when all else fails, like pull up on on some of the classics. <laughs> 